Hey again from the garden, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today is the day of our last market of the season down at the farmer's market. And while I'm out here clipping some dahlias, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour to share with you some of my favorite varieties for the year. Now I have dahlias planted in two different places this year. This patch is outside in my fenced in garden and I have three rows of dahlias here. They're absolutely covered in blooms. Um, September is definitely the month for dahlias here in Northwest Iowa. I just finished up with my big, biggest market of the year, which, oh, bug. <laughs> I just finished up with my biggest market of the year this last weekend where I took 55 jelly jar arrangements. Uh, I sold maybe 10 or 12 the day before. So, you know, 67, 68 arrangements that had dahlias as the focal flower in it. Um, but, you would never know that I completely clipped this patch last week. I mean, it is just really coming into bloom. We also are leaving on vacation tomorrow, so I have a feeling when we get back in five days, this patch is going to be in full bloom, which is really going to be fun. But anyway, today in my large bouquets for the market, I'm going to be filling with mahogany splendor hibiscus for filler. I'm going to put two or three sunflowers in each bouquet, and then I'm going to be putting a couple dahlias in each bouquet. So pretty simple. I already have my mini bouquets made, which you probably saw in my last video. And then I'm taking a bunch of pumpkins today too. So, um... Before I start harvesting, I just want to walk you around and give you a tour here and in the hoop house, um, which is the other spot I have dahlias planted. I want to show you some of my favorite varieties. So let me grab the camera and we'll walk down the aisles. All right, we're starting right on the end with a beautiful one. And unfortunately, I don't even know what variety this is. Uh, the label came off of it. I have it marked as question mark, but gosh, it is beautiful. This made an absolute beautiful focal flower last weekend in my jelly jars. And as you can see, the petals wrap all the way down the stem. It is so pretty. If anyone has an idea of what this variety is, please let me know. One of the earliest bloomers in my garden were these white dahlias, and I believe these are Boom Boom White. Let me come over here to show you a couple that are a little bit more bloomed out. These were great, definitely a prolific bloomer. And like I said, one of the earliest bloomers. Here is a really good one. They are just gorgeous. Now I do notice as they open up, they quickly develop that yellow center, but they do have a pretty decent vase life. And then right behind it, oh my gosh, look at that beauty. These are large uh, water lily dahlias. This is iced tea. I think this is about six inches wide. Uh, not as huge a producer, probably because it's a larger bloom, um, but these are absolutely beautiful. I will be growing this one next year as well. Here is another one that is a question mark, unfortunately, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm noticing that this might be a prolific bloomer because there are buds everywhere around it. I used a few this last weekend and loved it. So again, if you know what variety this might be, let me know. And then moving on over to a plant on the end here. These cute little ones, this is a smaller one, maybe a pom-pom variety. This is ginger willow. And this also is covered in buds. It gets these small little orange and yellow colored blooms. These are great little flowers for accents in bouquets. Move on over to another one here. So cute. Again, this is ginger willow. Okay, so before I go down the next aisle, I just want to show you a view of everything. It is so pretty right now. All right, so this next variety is a really popular one. It is Cornell, and we all know, since it's so popular, what a prolific bloomer it is. There are buds all over these plants. Here's a couple more. Such a pretty red color. Then I have a whole bunch of these plants. These are a cactus style dahlia. These are called Henriette. I got these from Gray Girl Farms. I really like them. I notice if I harvest them a little bit late, they don't last as long in the vase, but gosh, they are pretty. I love the color. I don't know that I'll divide and save all the tubers next year, but I really like them. 
Okay, then the next one, I'm gonna pan up to these orange ones. This is Marn or Marin, M-A-A-R-N. I think in Europe, it's called Sylvia. I grew this last year. These are all the tubers that I saved. This is a highly prolific bloomer, lasts really long in the vase. I absolutely love the color. This is a total must grow for me. This one is a decorative type dahlia called Julio. It's a light yellow with a peach around the edge. And I am really liking the colorings on this one. Oh my gosh, the traffic. There's traffic on the highway today. I'm sorry if that is distracting to you guys. Anyway, this one is super pretty. And then the last one in this row, which is so bright, it's not even really registering correctly on the screen. This is Boom Boom Red. This one actually has some stripes of yellow in it, which is kind of funky, but oh my gosh, this is a super bright red, beautiful dahlia. Again, Boom Boom Red. And I have one random plant here. This one I think is Fabienne. It's a pink. I thought I had a bunch of this planted, but this seems like one single plant. So I'm not sure. I know we all have problems labeling our dahlias, but either way, this is beautiful. Here's one that is partially open, but you can see beautiful colorings on it. This is Karma Amira. And then as we move over, I have one more of the Marn or Marin here. And in the background, this super dark burgundy one is called Black Satin, the perfect color for fall. Okay, so that was a look at all the dahlias out in this patch. Let's head to the hoop house and check those out. Okay, here we are in the hoop house. So most of these varieties are all single plants. These are all tubers that I purchased from other small flower farms in hopes that if I found some really great varieties that I loved, then I could divide the tubers, have multiple plants next year and save those. So let me just walk you through a few of these that I'm loving right now. So this one is not ready to harvest yet, but this is Ferncliff Copper. The color on this, I hope it's coming through on the screen. This just screams fall. This is so beautiful. This I will be planting for sure next year. Also, can you see the wasps moving around in here? The wasps are loving hanging out on my dahlias, so I really have to be careful. And look at all the flies. I think something hatched. It's a little bit gross. Uh, but they are pollinators, so watch out for those too. Another wasp hanging out on my dahlia. Okay, you guys, this one is definitely one of my favorites. This is Linda's baby. I know it is a favorite of a lot of growers. I can definitely see why. These blooms are beautiful. There's tall stems. I love the peach color. I'm definitely saving all the tubers I can for next year on this one. And if we move up, let me show you another bloom. Oh my gosh. These are absolutely stunning. And another one right next to it, well below it. This is from a Caitlin's Joy plant. That one is not quite open yet, but if we go over here, I'm gonna try to not move the camera so fast to one that's a little more aged. Here's a Caitlin's Joy, not quite as fuchsia. Love it, I absolutely love it. The last one on this side of the aisle, Sweet Natalie. These blooms are so stunning. I could see where these were used a lot in wedding work. This one's a little far gone on the back of the dahlia in the petals to harvest, so I'll just leave it on the plant, but it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this one I am not quite sure. Uh, it's labeled peaches and cream, but I don't really think it looks like peaches and cream. Whatever it is, I absolutely love it. There are two really beautiful blooms that I can harvest. And then as we move up, this one is not open enough to harvest, uh, but this one is labeled Night Queen, and I can tell that's gonna be a winner as well. All right, I have two more to show you guys. This one is called Touche. Now this had an organza bag over it that was a little too small, so it needs a little fluffing, but the color is absolutely beautiful. And then I wanna walk down to the end to show you one more in this hoop house. 
So this bud looks super interesting. Sorry about the flies all over it. This is a branch coming from, uh, I can't even tell what plant. It's either Crichton Honey or WC White Rabbit. I don't know if either of those are right, but it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful moth. I just thought it looked like a really cool one. I just wanted to show that to you. Right, so I'm actually gonna go grab my pruners. I am going to harvest the dahlias that are ready in here very quickly because all of these wasps are kind of starting to creep me out. And then I'm gonna go start making my bouquets. Okay, side note, I have anemones coming up. The anemone corms I left in the ground are now starting to sprout everywhere. That will be fun. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the dahlias that I'm growing this season. My plan for this year is to save all of my tubers of the varieties that I really like, store them over the winter, and grow them again next year. So once I get ready to dig all these and store these, I will definitely share with you guys my process on how I do that. So anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Stay tuned for a lot more this season, and we'll see you soon.